In order for you to work on WordPress, you're going to need to get WordPress installed. The first step is to visit the WordPress.org website and download WordPress. I always recommend that you come to WordPress.org and download a fresh copy of WordPress. WordPress is constantly being updated, so you're going to want to make sure that you have a fresh copy. So it's just a good idea to go ahead and get a fresh copy. Once you've downloaded this, you're going to end up with a zip file. You're going to need that zip file for the install. Now prior to installing WordPress, you're going to need to set up the location of where you're going to run WordPress. And you have a couple different options to do that. The first one is to just host WordPress on a server and you can use your FTP application to upload the zipped file to your server and then run the install right on the web. Some hosting companies also offer other services where you don't have to download WordPress from WordPress.org and it actually is running on the server. So you can check with your server and see if that's an option. Another option that I'm going to recommend that you may want to do for this class is to use a company called Pantheon. Pantheon.io is their URL. And Pantheon is a company that offers hosting and support for WordPress and Drupal platforms specifically. It is a paid resource, but they do allow you to create a free account. And with the free account, you can go ahead and run two development sites. The downside is that the URL is going to be a Pantheon branded URL. So of course this wouldn't work for real production, but as far as what we're going to be doing in the class, this is a great solution. I would recommend that you sign up for Pantheon and test it out so that you can see how the process works. Now because Pantheon is specific for WordPress and Drupal, you don't have to actually upload the WordPress zip file and unpackage it like you normally would. You would actually just sign up for the free account and it will automatically install WordPress. And I'll show you what this looks like in a different video. In order to sign up for the free account, you're just going to enter your information and fill out the form and create an account. It's really easy and it happens within just a couple minutes, so it doesn't take very long. The other option that's available to you is to run WordPress locally on your machine. And in order to do that, you're going to need a server or development environment. You have to be able to run the PHP files, which requires that you have Apache and MySQL running. So in order to do that locally, some of the easiest ways to do that is to install applications like MAMP, WAMP, or XAMPP. They all pretty much do the same thing and they are available for a variety of platforms. Personally, I use MAMP and MAMP is now available for Macintosh or Windows computers. They do have a paid version, which is the pro version, and they also have a free version. The free version is completely acceptable for what we're going to be doing in this class so you could certainly get this for free and install it and in another video I'm going to show you how to install WordPress and run locally using MAMP. The other options that I've highlighted for you are WAMP and WAMP pretty much does the same thing. WAMP is only available for Windows operating systems but if you have this running and you're already using it you can certainly continue to use WAMP. Another option is XAMPP XAMPP does the same sort of thing. It's available for Windows, Linux, and Mac, so you have all of the flavors. And again, it doesn't really matter which one of these you use, they all kind of will do the same thing, and that is to allow you to run Apache and MySQL on your local machine. But as I mentioned, I will be demoing how to do this with MAMP, and since MAMP is available for both Mac and PC machines, I think it's a viable solution if you want to run a local setup. However, if you are using one of those other applications or even something else and it works for you, you can continue to do that. You don't have to use any of these options. So I just wanted to let you know that these are the key ingredients that you're going to need to be able to work on WordPress and develop a WordPress website. You're going to need the actual WordPress 
download, which you get from wordpress.org, and then you're going to have to make a decision as to where you're going to put the WordPress files and where you're going to run it from. And you can do that up on the web or you can run it locally.